Run, bro. That's not good. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome to Splatoon! Last time we fought for turf with the cute and creepy Octolines on a new battlefield, and then took down the Octo Striker mini boss on top of a UFO. Today we're gonna confront the second big boss of the game, but if you have missed any of the single player story mode, there's a playlist down in the description to get all caught up. Now, before we hop into this boss kettle up here, you guys noticed that I forgot to get one of the sunken scrolls from the last level. I was too busy swimming for my life, dodging ink strikes. So this is it. It says, it seems that some Octarians can assume humanoid form. These specimens have superior physical capabilities and are highly aggressive. High ranking individuals have kelp on their heads, but what motivates them, if anything at all? I wonder if that gives them extra power or just makes them look like weird rabbit <laughs> octopus. So yeah, those are the Octolines and they're pretty creepy. But they're cool. All right, let's jump into here. Shooting the sneeze, the dreaded Octo Nozzle. I have no idea what this boss is gonna be, but if he's uh, sneezing, he might have a big schnoz. Let's see, ooh, creepy. There he is down there. He doesn't have his Zapfish, so he hasn't turned on. I've noticed a theme, these bosses need Zapfish to run. So they're probably hiding in there dormant and they really need uh, electricity to do all this crazy mechanical whatchamacallits. I don't understand it, I just shoot ink at it. Whoa, hello, Oh, he's got little sneakers. He's adorable. He's got seaweed everywhere. Oh, a little belly button, he's an Audi. All right, he seems a little mad. Man, I wonder if the, the team that worked on this, I know they worked on Mario Galaxy, but I wonder if they've worked on Pikmin as well. Because this boss has a very Pikmin look. I could just see Olimar tossing little, little guys at him. Ooh, he doesn't know where I am if I'm in the ink. But what if I hide back here, can he see me? Yeah, I can just kind of creep through and make my way up to that belly button. What if I did this? And, uh, he didn't... Oh, he didn't see me, did he? Oh, no, he did! Whoa, he's kicking! Oh, that's what he does with those little feet. He kicks those tiny... Whoa, whoa, okay. And then we're gonna jump... All right, go, go, go! Up the side! Hit him, hit him, hit him! Oh, yeah. All right. So that's why he needs those cute little sneakers. They're not just to make him feel better about being a... A giant robot that can't walk around <laughs> sitting in an ink pool. He needs him to kick those weird blobs of ink. Okay, now he's got multiple belly buttons. Oh no. He's screaming, getting rid of all my ink, so we gotta relay it. Alright, let's uh, see if I can sneak around and get to him. Okay, he doesn't spot me here. It's kinda. He's looking. Look at those big eyes. He's adorable. I like this guy. Okay, let's uh, go all the way over. Not too far! Okay. <laughs> we almost went into. Uh, into the uh, ink pool there. I'm just gonna use my my secrets here. Go around. Okay. Doesn't see me yet. Go, go, go! He's mad though. He's gonna try to find me. Oh no! I think he. Oh no! <laughs> I was a little too close to the side there. Oh no! Are we? Okay, we're still in the middle of the boss battle. I was gonna say we don't have to do that again, do we? All right. Make sure when you super jump, especially in multiplayer as well, just begin shooting immediately. You can you can do that, and then you can uh, you can just already be blasting ink when you come down. Fight fools, look out! Okay, jeez, those balls aren't too bad. All right, say that again. All right, <laughs> got that one belly button. Let's get the other one by going over this way. And there it is, get it, get it, get it, get it. He only has two bellies, all right, yeah, one for each little stack he, he has. Jump, and all right, last phase, guys. There we go, super jump away! <laughs> I love that the squid can just blast itself through the sky at any time. All right, now he's gonna be extra ticked off, and he's he's gonna be ooh, he's got two stacks, but he's got multiple belly buttons. I guess those aren't belly buttons; they're just like part of his octopus tentacles. Otherwise, why would he have so many? I don't know how many belly buttons an octopus has, but probably not that many. And <laughs> I know that squid have more tentacles than octopus. They have ten, and octopus only have eight, I believe. So uh, I think the squid bit of an advantage here. Not too much. Okay, look out. He's gonna try to schnoz me. He doesn't know I'm here. Look at him. Aw, I'm almost gonna feel bad, but I feel like my goal is to save the zapfish, of course, so I'm, uh, I'm more worried about them being safe than this guy being able to live a happy life. He's looking- Oh, he's watching my seeker. Oh, we only went down one level. Okay, we gotta hurry and get that other one. No, oh, where is it? Where is your last belly button? There it is. I think I can just run over here and, uh, nope. Oh, look out. Get it, get it, get it. And, yeah, all right. Blast the ink. Look out. I can't climb his face. 
but we can climb his sides and get it, get it, get it. Yeah, you are donezo. Look at that, I made a cool like crisscross there. I love the pattern of all the seekers. Might be my favorite sub weapon. And, oh, he just couldn't take that yellow ink and he exploded. All right, let's go over here and save this little guy. I like how the, the pages for the bosses are so easy to find, but they're always blueprints, I think, for uh, for the special weapons you can get from Sheldon back at Booyah Base. There we go. Hey, little guy. I don't know if you're better off with me, but at least you're not stuck inside that dude anymore. Okay, that's it for Area 2. We're going to go right ahead and go to the new area, though. Oh, scratchy scratch. <laughs> Who is this? What's that sound? Am I hearing things? My, uh, PTSD? <laughs> Cuddle fish. Blasted radio must be broken. You're doing great, Agent 3. Don't let up. I can sit around under this tree all day long as you do everything. Shoot and sneeze, clear, and here's our page. There we go. It looks like that might be some type of charger weapon. We'll have to find out. Oh, I think it's, uh, yeah, I know which one that is. We'll see that here soon. And there we go. We have overloaded the light bulbs, and we can now head to a new place. All right. It's all becoming clear. They must be using the Zapfish to revive the great Octo Weapons. I guess that's what those bosses are. Okay. Let's just leap. Whoa. We jump really far off those <laughs> ink lines. And, whoa, this one's got a lot of ver verticality to it and a bunch of ink lines all over the place for me to travel from. All right. See if I can. A lot of this I can't ink. There we go. There's certain surfaces you just can't ink, no matter how hard you try. We've got a lot of power eggs, so uh, let's upgrade our gear real quick as well while we're here. Uh, how about? I think ink storage would be probably ideal, so that we don't have to recharge our tank, but we could fire faster as well. I'm just gonna do. I love my seekers. So we'll do that, and we get the burst bombs as well. These aren't my favorite sub weapon, but they do explode instantly on contact. So, uh, just upgrade him as well. There we go. Level 2 for all the subs. And I need to save up to get my my main hero shooter a little upgraded. But yeah, the, the burst bombs, they're, they're kind of cool. They just don't do as much damage as the flat bombs. But I like how they do explode instantly. Oh, this is the next level here, I think. Oh no, we're looking for 10. We'll come back to invisible avenues. Whoa! They're zipping all over the place. I bet there's one over there. You can see it. Yeah, they're like partially invisible. And then you unlock them. Shifting platforms. Okay, that one sounds like it's gonna be fun. Trying to run around and uh, not fall off. And man, there, there's stuff all over the place here. Let's see if I can make that leap. Can I get it over there? Yeah. I always jump farther as a squid than I think I will. Just gotta trust in the power of the little inklings. There we go. Ink rail skyscape. Scrape. <laughs> Sky skyscape. Walking a fine line. All right. They're going to have to scrape the ink off of this skyscape. <laughs> there we go. Saved that one. All right. Let's ride the ink rails. And uh, we got more of these guys. The two tentacled guys, they kind of scare me a little bit. Look at those mean looks. And they also can do more damage to you uh, a lot faster. The one tentacled ones just seem like they're fresh off the, uh, the pod. Whoa. Press X when speeding along an ink rail to jump real high. Can I do that? There we go. Whee! Oh, that's what I did before. I jumped super high off of that ink rail. This is, uh, I haven't compl complimented the music that much, but I really love this weird soundtrack that Splatoon has. And, uh, this is one of my favorite songs. It's a really cool, weird little, like, remix of sound effects and different... Oh, jeez. Let's, uh, let's use my new grenades here. My first grenades. Jump up and throw. Oh, geez. missed that. Oh, no. That was close. There we go. I need to, uh, be careful here. If I can aim that and hit him. Oh, I <laughs> threw it over him. They're a little tough to aim. And look out. There we go. Yeah, I should probably stick to my splat grenades here, I think. Let's jump onto that. But yeah, there's so many different weird sounds in this music. And different genres. We got, like, reggae when we're waiting for the, uh, for the levels to load and stuff like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Go up here. Oh, they're hiding. These little submarine ones with the scuba masks are pretty, pretty good as well, but they're still one tentacle, so... They're nothing that special. Checkpoint. Here we go. Ooh, we're going underneath. Ah, train crossing. Oh, whoa. Oh, there are train tracks. Look at this. This is crazy. We're definitely upside down. There's a train. Oh, man, this is cool. Okay, let's not get too distracted here. We have a mission. There we go. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. All right. Launch pad ahoy. 
Where is it? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's hiding here somewhere. Whoa. All right. We're going up. Oh, we gotta use these. There we go. And then we can launch off of them really high. Whoa, yeah. That's cool. The squid, just for being water creatures, have an amazing ability to uh, just go through the sky really high when they jump. Hey, that one's got a side thing. Let me see. There we go. We Whoa! Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Worried I was going to fall off. There we go. Made sure to get the scroll this time. I got to keep my eyes open. They're, they're pretty tough to find. That was uh, pretty well hidden. That's it! Heave ho! Alright. Oh, jeez. Okay, okay. We got double tents here. Double tentacle boys. Let's uh, throw that up there. Distract them. They just cannot ignore something flying by their face. <laughs> they love to uh, to just follow anything you throw at them with their eyes. Alright. Whoa, there are a lot of them down here. I don't know about this. Captain Cuttlefish. What do you got me into here? Let's throw a couple of these down before we drop. Give myself some ink there. Alright. And... Bloop! Like a glove. Make most of that ink zuka. Oh, jeez. Let's, uh, let's get it here quickly. There we go, and... Okay. Uh, uh. Hopefully, I can take these guys out if I can. There we go. There's another one there. He's got to aim right, and... Oh, I'm running out. I'm running out here. Let's use the second one. I could probably take these guys out without it, but... Let's not try it. And, uh... Go, go. Man, I'm just barely missing them. Gotta get my aim right here, or we're gonna be in trouble. There's one right there. Get him. <laughs> Man, just just barely missing them, but we're okay. We got it. All right. <laughs> that was not my most graceful performance, but we survived. Let's head through here. Last checkpoint. We're almost done with this level. Go, go, go. Man, there are train tracks all over the place. The jetfish is up ahead! I wonder what happened to this, uh, this place. That one was so scared. He was like, I know he's coming. I know Agent 3 is gonna be here. Uh, he's like, he looks like a pug. Like, he's, oh, got that paranoid look in his eye. Like, something's always scaring him. Go, go, go. We can jump back onto this ink rail, hopefully. There we go. Whoop! <laughs> so fast. I'm gonna be a little careful here with my jumps and make sure I turn back into squid form. Not kid form before we land. Oh no, I got this guy to deal with. Okay, oh, look out! He can't get me when I'm in there so easily. There we go. We got him. And Zapfish Ahoy! We got our page. Let's do one more level here before we finish up the episode. Thank you guys for watching. Ink Rail Skyscape. Clear. And uh, I'm really enjoying seeing the little lore bits. I'm happy. I I'm glad I got that new weapon blueprint, but I want to see some more info about the Octarians and their history with the Inklings. With the creatures of the surface driven to extinction by rising sea levels, the ancestors of the Inklings were free to haul their ten-legged bodies up onto the abandoned land. This is how the Mollusk era began. Ooh. They're a little creepy there in the middle, but that's how the Inklings became how they are today. All right, and we're looking for number 11, which I think I already found. There it is. We just super jump right on over. Waste no time. In in ink visible avenues. Find your path. You gotta be mindful of all these puns. There's so many puns in this game. <laughs> gotta keep up. Alright. Ooh, it's nighttime. Look at this. It's beautiful. Alright. I'm looking forward to the first Splatfest. That's the uh, online competition that we're gonna have here pretty soon. Those Octo Scallywags hit the path. Did they? The, uh, ooh, it's an Octoling. But yeah, the Splatfest is coming soon, and the, s the stages will all be nighttime when we get to that. Whoa, look out. Octoling alert. They've got their own Splat Bombs. Oh, yeah, there's invisible stuff all over the place here. I can throw stuff over there and, uh, get out of the way. I learned very quickly in multiplayer, you don't want to be anywhere near those Splat Bombs when they go off. You're going to be in trouble. There she is. Get her, get her. Oh, we got her. Yeah, launch pad ahoy. Let's see if I can make this jump. <laughs> Well, I think we're gonna have to take her down again. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I tried to I tried to judge that. I just mentioned before, I feel like the squid jumps farther than it seems like it would, but maybe not so often. Let's uh, try to corner her over here between two spots. Maybe we can take her down a little easier this time than before. There we go. Okay, can we ink side? That's what I didn't do. That's what I didn't do. Now we're okay, except there's still an octocopter. Get around quickly. All right, we're good. Here we go. All these invisible... Yeah, there's like invisible ramps. There's no telling where they came from. Stay strong, or where they'll come from. <laughs> I don't know. 
After mixing up the past and the future. Can't remember one more from the next. Just fleshing out uh, <laughs> Captain Cuttlefish's character. Oh, the little Octo Stamps. I didn't realize at first that they have that little tentacle belly button on their backside there. See ya. He's looking at his dead friend. Now he's gone too. Alright, I'm gonna go over there, but I think we'll probably head to that eventually here. Let's just keep making our way through. Invisible land! Whoa! That guy. I don't like him. Fly away from that. There we go. <laughs> just That's the uh, Octo Bomber, I think is what they're called, but they throw their own little splat bombs. But we got him back. Hey, hey, there's a box, but I can't get it. Oh no, we got Octo Balls. We should not worry about little boxes. What's going on there? That box is not uh, letting me get to it. Oh, there we go. Something going. Oh, sneaky, sneaky. Developers <laughs> hiding those there. Let's, uh, I'm gonna jump off at the right spot. Okay, did it. Whoa, this is creepy. Ugh, that would freak me out in real life for sure to uh, have that happen. How do we get back up? Can we go all along the side here, mayhaps? Here we go. All right, yeah. Yeah, I definitely do not want to... Uh, the Octarian see-through techno majigs are pretty neat. But yeah, I, I definitely would not want to stand on a glass floor like that. Especially when, I don't know which way is up and which way is down here. What is going on? Oh, there we go. Okay, took me a little bit to find that, that hole there. Oh, -ho! you found the hidden path. Yep, this isn't my first mission against the Octolines, Gramps. Launchpad ahoy! Oh, one of them just like fell off the side. He was like, I'm not gonna... <laughs> oh wait, it's, it's the Octarians. I don't know what their voice <laughs> sound like. But he was he was like, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna fight this battle. I'm just gonna bail and take the quick way. <laughs> the path is completely invisible. Watch your step, Skipper. Has he called us Squiddo yet? Because I feel like that's like perfect. Alright. Oh, we got Octocopters. Okay. The Octocopters are some of the weakest of the Octarian enemies. Hey, Squeegee. I don't want you uh, messing with my pads here. When I'm trying to stay, he's like pushing me. Which side are you on? I guess you're on their side. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm gonna try to uh, make this jump here. I got that octocopter. Alright, we're doing okay. This is scaring me. These pads are so thin. I need to get up here with this squeege. Okay, squeegee. Leave me alone. Go, 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 go. Yeah, just barely. Jeez. Where am I going? Which way? Are we going here? Okay, there we are. Oh, it's so thin. I'm just like threading the needle here. Look out! There we go. There's an Octo Bomber too. I'm gonna just, I'm not even gonna squid here because I'm a little worried I'm gonna fall. Oh my god. I kind of have a fear of heights in real life, but usually not in video games, but this has a good sense of scale there. I'm nervous just watching. Yeah, telling me, man. I'm here doing that balancing act. All right. We got Octo Bombers. How about? What if I hit one of those? There we go. Almost took them all out. Octocopters, sorry. Oh, there's one of those guys. Oh, man, the two tentacled Heidi Majig. Scuba, scuba Steve's. <laughs> Whatever they're called. I'll learn was the. I know the Octarian names and stuff a little bit, but I'll learn these enemy names too. But yeah, whatever you want to call the scuba octolings, they're, they're scary when they pop up out of nowhere. There she blows! Tapfish dead ahead! We got one of those guys. Okay, let me see if I can bomb him. There he goes. He's just so fascinated by those little bombs. Whoa, we're climbing. We are climbing up here through invisible platforms. Gotta be careful. And, uh, blast him. Go down. Try to get this one too. There you go. If you're quick enough, and brave enough, then you might be able to survive some of these onslaughts. Can I hit that one? Okay, good. Jeez. <laughs> Doing all right. Try to single them out. Divide and conquer. That's Art of War stuff there. Gramps didn't have to teach me that. All right, let's see if we can make this jump. Oh, they're so far away. I'm gonna have to go on top of one of these things to hit them, probably. All right, let's try my best. That's all I can hope to do. Jump off! Oh my gosh. Uh, I've got this helmet, so hopefully that'll keep me from getting splatted too quickly. Hey, don't do that. I was just over there. There we go, got that one. Hide. Ugh, so close. Okay, I'm also worried I'm just gonna squid my way off the side on accident. And just... Hey, buddy. That's mine. That's mine! There we go. <laughs> That's my platform! Nice one, bucko! Alright. Jump! Oh, jeez, that scared me. There we go. Alright, thank you guys for watching. We're gonna finish up by checking out the page that we got. We did get a scroll, yeah, okay. 
<laughs> just making sure. I remember getting one. It was hidden there. All right. And what does it say about... Ooh. This is, looks like Jalonzo, the little jellyfish guy. Twice a year, the Inkopolis Collection Fashion Show captures the hearts, minds, and wallets of the city's youth. Is there no room in these creatures' minds for anything but battle and fashion? Is this a commentary on youth culture, Splatoon? Is that what's going on here? <laughs> He's critiquing people that are too into fashion and not worried about the state of the world. All right, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Or just diving off. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next time. We got this minty toothpaste. Here you go. Fresh your breath up. <laughs> Captain Cuttlefish. See you guys next time for some more Splatoon.